Welcome to Tibra's Den, everyone. My name is Whitney, and welcome back to another Cast Monday. I am really excited for today, because today we are doing the stereotypical farmer's daughter. That is who we are creating, and then we are going to be creating her family and all the animals to go on the farm. Definitely, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you are notified when I upload, and remember to like this video. This is my favorite creation I've done so far. I love these characters I created, and I absolutely love the build. So remember, like I said, to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can check back in on Friday and see the build I did for this guy. these guys. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's... It's the best build I've done by far. Um, I think I nailed the roof. I think the windows look good. And I'm just pleased overall. And plus I had a bunch of custom content farm stuff that I've been dying to use. And I was finally able to use it. So I'm so excited. And so we are going to be doing different stereotypes. Uh, kind of as a little mini series. It might not be week after week. I'll probably break it up a little bit, but there is going to be a little series covering different stereotypes. And this is kind of poking fun at stereotypes, not the people they're supposed to be based on. Just because I think stereotypes are so problematic and they just need to be thrown out. Um, they're not who somebody is and there's so much more to a person. Um, but it's kind of giving me an inspiration for these characters that I'm creating. And so for her, you know, there's kind of two different routes you can go for the farmer's daughter. You can either go for like the complete and total bombshell, kind of like in Dukes of Hazard, or you can kind of go for more of the, you know, tomboyish, sweet but naive type girl. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to combine both of those uh, into one character. And so you'll see with her outfits, I gave her several different outfits. And I did do some that were a little bit more on the fun, sexy side. And some that were a little bit more functional and classic. And so you'll see all those. And then, of course, you'll see her family at the end. But I absolutely love her. And... At first, I messed up, and I have her as a young adult, because that's what it defaults to, and so I wasn't thinking, and I gave her all her traits, but I did go with the stereotype that she wants to leave the farm, she wants to go to the city and see what else is out there, and so she's a city, I know it's city native, but that's her aspiration, is to go to the city, and then I gave her a custom content trait of the farmer, so, you know, she could help her dad around the farm, and then... I did originally give her the romantic trait and the loves outdoors, but when I dropped her down to the, the teen, I take off the romantic trait because for her character, you know, I know for some of the stereotypes, especially, you know, the sweet naive girl wants to fall in love and, and be swept off her feet and taken away from the farm. For her, that's not really her, her style. Like, she wants to go and experience the world, but she definitely is strong and can go out and ex explore on her own. So she doesn't need to be rescued by Prince Charming to go see the world, essentially. Um, and so I absolutely love her to bits. And then I did create her mom and her dad, of course. And then I created a dog and a cat as well. And then from the da the gallery, I downloaded a sheep, a goat, and a cow. Um, and I know that's probably cheating a little bit just for what I've been wanting to do with this channel, which is fill it with my own, you know, show you guys how I'm filling myself safe with my own creations and my own builds. But I really had no interest in creating a sheep, a goat, or a cow. But for this family, I definitely thought it was important to incorporate those. So I did get those from the gallery. And you'll see all those guys at the end. I also went with a stereotypical name for her. As you can see, her name is Billy Joe. And I used McDonald from the classic children's song. I just, I had to go that route. And her mom is Betty Joe, and her dad is William. And so basically the story behind them is they struggled to get pregnant with her and then they really wanted a son 
they ended up with a daughter, and so she is named after her dad. And then the Joe part obviously comes from her mom, um, and then that's the only child they had. And so they are kind of a bit protective and a bit strict with her, which is part of the reason, you know, she's really looking forward to turning 18 and leaving the farm and going to do her own thing. Like, she cannot wait to do that. Um, but she's... Like I said, I absolutely love her, and I have to admit, I did play with them a little bit when I was playtesting the house, make sure everything functioned well. I did play with them a little bit, so she's already had her first night in the house, woke up early, did her chores uh, before school, and all of that good stuff. But I cannot wait for you guys to see that build. I absolutely love it, and I'm so proud of it. And then for function-wise, it was so hard because I was trying to get the goat, the sheep, and the cow into the barn, and lock them in while keeping the dog and the cat out so they didn't get locked in. Uh, and so it was it was quite the process because one kept wandering off or the dog would come in. And it was like, no, you need to go out and these guys need to stay in. But I finally got it worked out and I did have a pet door so the cat can actually go in. It's just locked for all dogs since technically the sheep, the goat, and the cow are made from the dog in the sims so um but i absolutely love it i can't wait for you guys to see it so now i'm just working on her outfits as you can see and so she has two outfits right now for her everyday look and i do end up going back and giving her a third because i realized i didn't give her the sundress and so the first outfit of her everyday look you guys already saw uh is a bit more not as modest as it could be and so I can imagine her wearing that if she's you know hanging out with friends at maybe their farm or something like that and then her second outfit is a bit more functional and her third outfit is going to be a sundress with her hair down bare feet and so she's probably wearing that if she's done with her chores for the day and just kind of able to relax has nothing else going on she might wear, wear that to kind of lounge around um and, and go hang out around the house things like that and right now I'm working on her formal outfit and so for this I kind of struggled a little bit on which direction I wanted to go but I remember you know from my days my mom worked for a reigning cow horse trainer, and before that, I was part of a program called Western Airs. And so some of the banquets and such, you would dress nice, but you weren't ever over the top. Um, and so this was my version of formal for her. I figured if they did go to, like, a banquet or something like that, uh, this is their, their nice clothes, but it's not glamorous or anything like that. They're not going to, like, a ball or, or something like that. It would be, like, a banquet or an award show Something along along those lines. And so this is the outfit I came up with for that. And then, of course, going with her active wear. Um, again, kind of struggled a little bit. And so I just went with kind of a basic hoodie and some jeans and then some shoes. I don't think she necessarily would wear her boots uh, if she was, was exercising or anything like that. Um... But she wouldn't necessarily wear, like, full-on, like, workout outfits either. Uh, so pretty basic for her her outfit there. Um, and then the next is her sleepy time wear, which you'll see here in a second. I just gotta give her her shoes real quick. And her sleepy wear, again, I went pretty basic. Just some sweats and a shirt. Uh, nothing too over the top. I did let her hair down. Um, figured, you know, she would obviously have her hair up if she was working or anything like that, um, keep it out of the way, but she would, would probably wear it down while she was sleeping or doing other things like that. And so this is where I remembered I didn't give her her sundress and I really wanted to give her a sundress. I think that is such a, a stereotypical thing you see with you know the country girl or the farmer's daughter um and so I wanted to give her that and then I I put her hair down for that as well um and then I I jump back to her her sleepy time outfit and give her the the hair down as well 
and now we are working on her party outfit and I do give her two different versions again I go with kind of a more sexy she might be sneaking out of the house version instead of you know having her parents permission maybe her girls uh, talked her into sneaking out and going to hang out with boys going to like a bonfire um or something like that and so this is that version and then she has a little bit more modest version that you know she her parents would have given her permission to go out and she might be wearing that um and the hardest part with this was finding the shoes I wanted because it's like I still wanted to go with that country vibe but at the same time not too over the top but not too basic either and so I found like little mini booties that I ended up giving her that match her top um but I had a hard time trying to decide which which way I wanted to go um for these because I thought about heels but then I thought she probably still wouldn't necessarily wear heels even if she was going out to party she would still wear you know something a little bit more more functional um, and so that's, that's what I came up with. Um, and then this is her, like I said, her other outfit that maybe her parents gave her permission to go. So it's still very cute and fun. Um, but it's a little bit more modest and parent approved. So, <laughs> and then for her swimsuit, uh, just pretty basic. I went with, you know, a bikini top and, Again, just, just very basic, and most likely, you know, she would be wearing that under, like, a t-shirt and shorts, um, if they were going to the watering hole or anything like that, um, that's, that's what she would be wearing under, underneath her t-shirt and shorts as they went to go, go hang out there, and now for her hot weather outfit, again, I gave her two different looks, and so I gave her this first look, but again, not very functional, um, I, my mom worked for a reigning cow horse trainer, and so, you know, I, I wanted functional outfits as well, more, a little bit more realistic, and so this, again, might be she's hanging out with, with friends for the day in the summer, um, and then her other outfit, her second outfit is a bit more functional, uh, for actually working on the farm and working around the animals, so, um, this is what I came up with there and put her barefoot in the first outfit and boots in the second, just kind of give that, that variance, you know, since those are two classic stereotypes. And then for her cold weather, I went f pretty much full function on this because I remember, you know, from working with the animals, you definitely always layered. And so I went with this top cause it has the jacket, then the sweatshirt and then the shirt underneath. Um, because when I worked with the animals, you always layered because while you're working, you get hot. So you would take pieces off. And then when you went to go back outside, you would layer back up and you always had gloves. So now I'm just going through her outfits real quick for you guys, uh, that you already, you already saw them all cause you were with me when I created with them. And this is her mom, Betty Jo. And so she wants a big, happy family. She's family oriented, neat and cheerful. And so this is just a bunch of her different outfits, pretty basic, but for her party look, you know, she lets her hair down, um, and so she'd be more in the house baking and cooking, but she definitely has, like, a, her little garden where she grows things for her, their own personal use. And then this is a dad, he's a freelance botanist, he's a farmer, he's active, and he loves the outdoors. Sadie the dog, Australian cow dog, I downloaded the sheep, I downloaded this goat, and I downloaded the cow, and then this is their cat, Mouser, which would keep the farm free of vermin. And that is my farmer's daughter and her family. I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoy this little sneak peek into the build. Have a good week, and we will see you all on Friday. Bye, guys. Bye.